Hi, apologies for not having produced uh, many videos uh, of late, but that is because um, after the last video that I put up uh, months ago, um, like I tend to do at the weekends when I'm not uh, not out and about, I sort of try and uh, try and um, improve the simplicity of my method. I'm always looking up. I hate not being able to trade at the weekends, but I love looking at charts and it fascinates me which is what I've been doing. I've been studying Forex for 10, more than 10 years now. And, uh, and um, uh, you know, you always, me personally, I'm always trying to get the simplest method. The reason I want it to be simple is because I have terrible discipline and uh, patience uh, are t terrible as well. And I've identified that in myself. Um, whilst I'm not prone to over trading, uh, one way to prevent it is to try and mechanize the method you use uh, to the nth degree so that you can just um, literally open a chart like this for example wait for an indicator to uh, ping or uh, appear on the chart at your given trading time which for me is Frankfurt and London Open roughly about uh, between about 6 and uh, 9 in the morning um, and uh, and then get out. So there's two or three reasons that uh, I like this style of trading is because unlike um, you know a lot of traders uh, they will tell you that you need uh, to aim for five to one reward risk ratio, you need to uh, trade with the trend, you need to um, uh, trade one percent of your account and all this malarkey. Um, a lot of it's uh, not very helpful. Uh, I prefer to uh, make my own uh, rules and uh, they tend to work for me so I'm sure uh, some of you will find they work for you too. So what is this sort of uh, super duper method that I want to show you? Well it's just a moving average crossover system. Simple as that but if I can just quickly show you the um, the uh, two main things that I want to get across to you in this video, one of which is what how how reliable these crossovers are, um, and bearing in mind that this chart, um, this method, would be the the entry method would be exactly the same on the lower time frame as it would be on the alert time frame. So what I'm saying is I get an alert on the hourly chart like for instance this one over here or this one way back here and uh, then I drop down to the lower, lower time frame and use wait for a, a signal as well so this morning for example I would have waited for this signal to appear at the close of the five o'clock candle they don't repaint these things they are uh, just a simple moving average so there's no uh, no highfalutin uh, mathematics going on like some of these oscillators you get down here where when you go back a week later or even an hour later they've given you a signal then you go back and the signal is not there these are just simple close of a candle below uh, a moving average in this instance the 10 linear weighted moving average with the three uh, linear weighted moving at linear weighted moving average that's not on the chart because it just clutters it up but uh, it doesn't need it to be there for the alert to work so when the uh, price closes above the um, <clears throat> yellow moving average, the uh, the blue arrow will show as it did this morning, and then when the price closes below the uh, the um, yellow moving average, we'll get a pink sell arrow. And uh, but they don't you don't just take take them arbitrary arbitrarily. You just uh, you then wait for a signal on the lower time frame. I'll quickly show you what that is, but I'll just explain the mechanics of this. What you've got when you get these moving average crossovers, in the upside, it's crossed over some sort of resistance. Um, and when it's the downside, it's crossed over some sort of support. Now, when support is broken, the price tends to go back and test it to see whether it'll hold as, as resistance. And when uh, resistance is broken to the upside, price will tend to come back as in this red candle to test it as support so we always want to wait for the pullback if the price if if the price goes without us which sometimes it can then so be it let it go and uh, tomorrow's another day 
but uh, don't chase trades. So let's get back to this one here. Sorry to flit about all over the all over the charts. Well, no, let's let's just show you the um, the reliability of the the uh, trades or the signals rather. So we got a signal on that candle there. So the close of that candle. So this would be the signal to uh, consider going long. And as you can see, uh, it's moved up uh, one um, sector. These sectors are set to be 25 pip um, gaps, and uh, it's clearly moved up uh, 25 pips and more actually because it started well below that 25 level there. So fabulous. I'm only after seven pips. Seven pips, if you use compounding, can be turned into, uh, you know, 70 quid can be turned into three and a half grand in uh, a month if you in keep increasing your uh, lot size. So I would suggest, I'll show you the compounding uh, uh, f formula in, uh, in the next video. But for now, we'll just show you the importance, all the reliability of these signals. I haven't picked this chart because of its um, reliability. I actually picked it because uh, I actually had this winning trade on here this morning. And uh, and uh, then I just uh, happened to notice um, that, uh, that uh, the chart was an excellent one to use as an example. So I promise you that is the truth. But I've got nothing to gain anyway. All of what I'm producing on this uh, this channel, this YouTube channel, is free. I just want uh, 10 years of studying charts, 10 years of uh, enjoying the Forex market and, and having learnt tons of stuff from other people, all free on the internet. I thought I'd just give something back and hopefully you'll find this uh, as intriguing as and simple, simplistic, uh, as I do, and uh, you'll realise the value of it. But uh, So here, uh, as I say, we've got the, um, the signal to go down, and as you can see throughout the day, it's moved through one, two, three, uh, three sectors through the night, so 75 pips or so. Uh, and then we've got a contra trend. It's against the moving averages, because if, if possible, you should be trying to find entries that go with the trend. We can clearly see the trend here. The moving averages are just uh, confirming the trend for us as a, as a quick visual aid. But this one's moved up uh, best part of two sectors, so 50 pips. Then the um, some of them will be out of your trading hours, which is what these uh, little green dotted lines are. They're the 5 a.m. So unless they're almost uh, immediately after that, uh, then they, I personally wouldn't have traded them unless for some reason I decided to look at the charts uh, at a silly time of day. But I try not to because that's breaking my own rules of uh, patience and discipline. Uh, here's a good one as well. Well, I say a good one. It's not so good because it was the wrong time of day. Uh, it's in the Asian session or coming up to the Asian session. As, and as you can see, it's uh, made us pay the price because we would have got a trigger around here and then had to wait uh, to and froing at about, when I say trigger, a lower time frame entry signal as opposed to just the alert. Um, that would have uh, kept us hanging around for the best part of three or four hours before it finally moved down um, what looks like the best part of 25 pips again. So that's another good signal. In fact, none of these are bad. That one was a, a little cheeky, a bit not the best of signals there but it still went into profit but uh, we could negate that one because I wouldn't have even wouldn't have been around the market at that time of day anyway so midnight there's two hours difference on the the uh, broker platform but that one was a good one gave 15 pips I want seven remember um, and uh, and then um, this one here that was today's trade and then later on we've got another signal here and what does it do it goes down again uh, this was affected by news and news is another thing I, you know while we're here I mention it um, news will cause sideways motion suppose I want to be in and out of my trade by nine o'clock and I've got a 9 30 news article it will quite often affect um, affect the signals uh, and cause you to uh, have to wait because you just won't get a signal or you'll get a signal and it'll be negated immediately by another signal the other way. I'm talking about on the five minute chart here. So uh, you're always going to get problems with that. But hopefully you can see, you know, signal down, great trade. 
signal it has gone up a little bit sideways but the lower time frames when I show you that in the next video will uh, will show you how to stay out of uh, bad bad trades signal nice big move down uh, and uh, you can teach yourself if you prefer to risk less on your trades but put uh, trailing stops or something like that on there uh, or re-enter and, and just grab three or four pips and then when it pulls back take the next one take the next one and so forth then you can do that this indicator I find very use, useful or this uh, yeah it's, it's an indicator it's just the average daily range so it's telling us that we've had a move of, of uh, 98.1 pips over the last four days averaging so when if it's showing you like it was this morning here at 45 pips you know uh, if you're going to get in with the trend of the day which is downwards because we're following this uh, huge trend then there's probably 40 50 pips uh, to be grabbed and as you can see at this point in the day when we're waiting for a short uh, signal as a result of this uh, hourly um, alert then uh, there was clearly well over 50 pips um, available from up here when you perhaps got an another trigger uh, on the lower time frame I'm talking about there's probably 75 pips available so that's useful um, this I never use really but apart from the spread uh, this is always uh, just there in the background most people use that and this one is just to tell me uh, what news items are likely to be there so one eye on the news one eye on the uh, the distance with uh, the average daily range uh, always helps and then you've got your your other eye on the alerts and your other eye on the uh, the easy visual aid so hopefully you can understand why I've got this chart set up like this so and hopefully that uh, has given you something to whet your appetite. Thanks for watching.